All right, guys, I'm ready for the trip for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be getting up early in the morning and we're going to leave at about 7, 7.30. Everything is packed. My bag right here. Boots, tank bag, jacket, gloves, wallet, keys. The weather is not looking too hot. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in the morning. The forecast shows that it's going to be clear. So I'm really hoping for a clear day because I really don't want to start my ride with uh, rain. But right now, this is what it looks like. And I am not very excited about that. But we'll see. Everything happens um, the way it's supposed to. There are three routes. The first one I remember is just like a very boring route. It's straight, it's the shortest. Uh, it takes about four hours to get to Seattle, but that's not the route I'll be taking because it's all about the ride, honestly. I mean, I obviously, I want to go and enjoy Seattle, but it's also about the ride to Seattle, right? So this route actually goes through the Cascade Mountains. It's one of the best routes that I have actually rode on. It's got twists and turns. It's got <clears throat> this amazing Lake Diablo on the way which we're gonna stop by uh, to get a little bit of, um, to get a video of that, but <clears throat> to record that. So yeah, but the difference is that it's an extra 100 miles. And I was debating, I was like, is that something that I wanna do? You know, an extra 100 miles. Um, but the more I think about it, I am, so might as well take the best route possible um it's long and i might regret it in the middle of it but who cares it takes about eight hours for this route as compared to four or five hours on the other um but we'll do it anyway <laughs> all right those so so finally i'm ready for the trip or uh i'll just show you my prep Everything that I have is on the bike right now and we are set to go. As I said, we're taking the long route uh, through Winthrop. If anybody who's taking the same ride, please uh, leave your pictures or videos in the comment section and or just tell, tell me about your experience. I would love to hear that. And if there, as you can see, so here we have our tank bag. So this has all my toiletries there. As you can see, the helmet is all nice and ready, geared up, hooked up. This is just my rain gear. I, I've just strapped it with a bungee cord. I love this about Yamaha that they have these little um, hooks right here. So you can just kind of wrap your stuff around. And then obviously my primary bag right there, which I will be uh, strapping on my shoulders. And then here we have my other phone that I'm going to be using. It's a cheaper phone, so I don't really care if it you know, falls, breaks, whatever, or gets wet. Anything with that is cheap phone, so I'm just going to like um, use it for GPS. So yeah, let's uh, begin this trip. All right, dosto, so here we are. This is my setup right here. And we are ready to roll. And I'm nervous. I don't know. There is always, before a trip, I always feel super nervous. And I... crossed the city and this is exactly what I was looking for uh, straight long roads oh man I'm so excited <laughs> this is amazing 
this is amazing so obviously you know these are straight roads there are more exciting roads to come but I thought that let's get a little glimpse a start of our trip oh this is so exciting I mean look at these roads I could go so much faster but I'm just like enjoying and savoring each and every moment of this amazing oh and especially like roads like this when you have no obstructions on either side of you the crosswinds are really strong I'm not gonna talk about everybody else but whenever I start a ride it takes me at least about like half an hour to kind of get adjusted and comfortable in a position uh, get a sense of the crosswind, the sense of how the motorcycle is handling and um, half an hour in and I start feeling comfortable that Alright guys, so this is a small town. It literally, in the middle of the freeway, you enter the small town out of nowhere. You have a few buildings, a few houses, a lot of farmlands. And that's it. It didn't even take me, what, a minute to get through this town? It's an actual city where people live. Like, what do you do here? And how cool is that? I've been riding for about half an hour, I don't know exactly. Uh, we are going to be turning, as this says, 8.6 miles. We turned right on uh, Washington 21. So that's where we're gonna take a ride, and then maybe I'm gonna take uh, a little bit of a break because we've been riding for about, I don't know, two hours. Uh, and so far, it kind of started with a little bit of pain in the butt. And now, my ass is numb. So it's pretty cool. You know, I don't feel much. I just feel this nice cold numbness. And my body is kind of adjusted to this uncomfortable position. But like, I, I have finally found that spot where I feel comfortable now. You know? And uh, my god, this is amazing. Like, in the, so I was so worried that the weather is going to be poopy and shitty when I leave because it was, it has been raining for the past two days. Every morning I wake up, I look outside and it's wet, it's rainy. Um, so I was a little bit of concern, but then I looked up the weather and it said that it's going to be kind of clear, cloudy, but not, no rain. And I was like, you know what, that's fine as long as it's cloudy but no rain I can handle it you know I mean even rain I can handle it it's just that it's not really the most comfortable experience to ride in the rain so that happened but then when I woke up it was the ground the ground was wet and it was really uh, foggy and then by the time I was ready to leave the Sun came out and now look at this like, wonderful isn't it you know my back hurts my ass hurts, a lot of things hurt, but you know, I still feel great. So here we are. We are going to refuel real quick. The way we got to do it is we'll have to get everything off the goddamn motorcycle. I don't really take anything off, but right now I got to because we have the tank bag over. Uh So you have to definitely do that first. I usually don't get off the motorcycle whenever I have to fill up the tank. Yep. 
you know nope yeah so usually I don't do that but today we have to come on Turning in just about. All right, gas is in. You're gonna be turning in like I don't know, 0. 0.6 miles. You gotta turn on US two. All right, guys, you're full on gas. It's time to go. Dusted. Okay, this is the. If you hear this music, that's my uh, music system playing. And yay, where do we go now, brother? Where do we go? Ah. No, no, no! All right, where do we go now? Ah, uh, so this says you gotta turn this way, I believe. Okay, okay, okay. Alright guys, so now we are going to go for another 41 miles! Woo! Hey, hey. Shine, brother. Rain or shine, we're gonna make it through. Yeah. Party wants to surrender 
Music licensing reimagined. Music licensing reimagined. Just like a seed in a garden, you will grow to be tall. Staring out over miles of land without it, but wanting to build a wall. Waterfall place. 